It's early November as the 2004 Renegades assemble for the first time at their annual open house, the traditional beginning of the new season. New beginnings bring new hopes and a chance to continue improving their stature as a world-class senior corps. At last year's DCA championships, they had finished sixth in only their second appearance at this prestigious event. A penalty had held them back from a higher placement, and it was time to set things straight. But they have another mission, which is equally as important, if not more so. They're going to challenge the very notion of what a drum corps performance can be. I'm going to cut to the chase. We are going to put the best senior corps in the world on the field this year. All right. yeah. Um, for those of you that, have, that know a little bit about the history of the Corps, where we've started, this year kind of represents the accumulation of a lot of years of hard work. This year's show is entitled... <laughs> the concept of this, it's basically, you know, continues the battle between good and evil. This is more of a Empire Strikes Back where evil wins, but this is very much a renegade show. Last year we threw the book away, this year we're throwing it off a building as far as what a drum corps show is about and we're the renegades and that's what, that's what kind of our mission is to be. There's one corps that we want to beat, there's one corps that we are going to beat this year and it's the 2003 Renegades. That is our mission is to take one step up with the guard, with the horns, with the drums and when we get to DCA it should take care of itself. After the presentation of the new show, the staff surprises the horn line by handing out the show music. Having music this early is unheard of, and it sets the tone and the expectations of the year ahead. And with a substantial number of returning veterans and the largest turnout of potential Color Guard members, things are looking up for the Corps. Site X, the Renegade's Fortress of Solitude, aka Treasure Island. It's really the perfect spot for the Renegades to meet and begin putting their show on the field. It's not too bad for a December day in San Francisco, and that's a good thing for the Horns because today is basics. The Renegades are going to have to up the ante this year, and that means that the show is going to have to be hard. There's going to be so much to think about during the show that their technique is going to have to be second nature. Anytime we're doing any kind of motion, the effect happens at the stop, and the way you generate that effect is by making sure there's no residual motion. Up to bring, down to bring. Evil Plan Item 4C is to really improve the drum line this year. This is a new lineup and the guys have to learn how to really lock into each other. The staff has to get to know them as well, so it is audition time. More about knowing each drummer's particular skill level than anything else. The audition is also a chance to show the drummers what the style of the line is going to be for this year. What we're doing is we're doing auditions and Scott Johnson and Ken Cater and I are going through all the new people and trying to get an understanding of uh, what their hands are made of, what kinds of problems they have, and um, giving them feedback in terms of what their style um, can do to improve. So what we're trying to do this year with the drum line is take the drum line up an entire level. The guard member turnout is both good news and bad news. For the first time, there are more guard members than spots in this year's show. And it's going to be harder than ever this year. And no one has a guaranteed spot. So this is how it's going to be. A harder show, higher expectations. Not everyone here today will be here in the summer. We're really going to push pretty hard this year. And there may be some of you who are here right now that just won't be able to do it. Okay? And I, and I really apologize for that and being so blunt about it, but I don't want to paint any big rosy pictures because it's going to be tougher. It's going to be tougher and it's going to be a lot more physical. Okay. Watching the horn line go through their warm-up drill, you can see how far they've come in such a short time. And that's a good thing because today they start marching the show. Once again, they're able to get an early start. The plan is to get the show finished fast so there's more time to clean it before the DCA Championships in September. What we want is to just take, take the level that everyone was at last year at the end of the season 
bring that at the beginning of the season this year and move up from there so that everybody mentally and physically is is pushing themselves farther than they did last year earlier in the season so when we get later in the season we have a much better result. For the staff the goal is to get everyone up to speed on just how you learn to march a drill. The way I want to run this rehearsal is that when I'm done here we're gonna break you off into sections and we're gonna tell you what your numbers are. Okay. Once you have your number we're gonna turn you loose to get yourself set. Now what I expect from you during that time is that you find your, your number, where you are on the sheet, then you get there and you stay put. I'm number 15. It's, it's pretty early in the game to be doing drills, so I'm, I'm very pleased to get a start. Really, we've been focusing so much on basics, and we're going to continue to do so. This, this little bit of drill was way less about learning drill, but more about learning how to learn drill. It's great to have so many folks out here and you know we've really pushed them harder than ever before and they're, they're taking it like champs, you know. They, I, think, I think everybody's on board with the mission which is to be the greatest drum corps on the planet this year. Performing is a lot different than practicing. The heart beats faster, the adrenaline starts pumping, and you really try to push yourself right to the limit. And then you crack a note and then you drop your flag and then boom, you've got chaos. How do you recover? And how do you keep from doing it in the first place? Shirley Doherty has a few ideas, and after years in drum corps, she knows what the Renegades are up against. As she goes through the psychology of performance, the corps gets another way to find their perfect show. Almost across the board, I find that people just love talking about their performance experiences and finding ways to describe what happens. Sometimes people get too excited in a performance. Sometimes people aren't excited enough. What I'm trying to teach them is a way to cope with either experience. And what I'm finding is that almost universal enthusiasm for this information. In fact, many people came up today and said that, that it also connects with the way they live their lives, how they perform at work, how they deal with their children, um, and it's something that actually touches all areas of their life. Although it's still early in the year, the show is starting to come together. And there's a feeling growing within the ranks that they're onto something special. And even better, their first performance is just around the corner. One of the great things about being from the Bay Area is that the Renegades get to take part in the San Francisco Chinese New Year's Parade. There's nothing better for a Renegade than being able to perform in front of tens of thousands of people especially when they get to play really, really loud. Gung Hei Fa Choi from the 2004 Chinese New Year Parade, Year of the Monkey. San Francisco Renegades are here, we're loud, we're going to have fun.
The motto of the Renegades is loud is good, so it's not too much of a stretch to see why they host the Loud Music Symposium. It's a fundraiser, it's a party, it's yet another way for the Renegades to break from their traditional drum corps roots. With acts like heavy metal band Crenshaw and the punk rock orchestra, well, it's the only kind of show the Renegades know how to do. As an added attraction for this year's Loud Music Symposium, East Coast superstar Joe Perro takes a break from the Empire Statesman and shows us how they do it in New York. Of course, the headliner is the Renegades on the debut of their new show. Seeing them up on the stage, you finally get an idea of the size of the horn line this year.
Like any senior corps, the Renegades have families and jobs and bills to pay. Being in the corps can be hard on family life, so the Renegades make it a little easier by saving Memorial Day for the kids. Instead, they have their annual anti-Memorial Day camp the weekend before. No one knows just for sure how many marriages have been saved by this move. In the weeks leading up to the camp, there was a buzz going around the core. The Renegades had never been this far along so early in the season. Everyone was noticing that they were getting better and that the horns and the drums and the guard were coming together not as sections, but as a core. They were beginning to look at each other and wonder, how good can we really be? This is the first year from the first moment we stepped on the field, you know, early, you know, February, March camp. It was run through like we are in front of an audience from that moment on. And that's the difference. We didn't, we're not kind of, well, let's just get out there and throw the drill together with the music and we can turn it up, you know, once we get to a show. It's, it's just been turned up 10 notches from day one. The biggest thing this year is the fact that all sections are growing at the same rate. You know, it's not one group's here, one group's here, the next group, there's no, everybody's at the same level and it's just increasing day by day. It's pretty good. Before the camp, a message had been sent around by one of the core members that basically said, it's up to us to prove how good we really are. Let's get serious. I think this camp had a focus that we have not had as a drum corps in my two years in the Renegades. Uh, and specifically, even this year, we really bumped it up another level. We ran through many parts of the show this weekend. We were much more focused, we were much cleaner, uh, and we had much less sort of joking around and infighting, although we did have a good time. I think everyone had an even better time because the core got so much better in just a couple days. You guys remember that first camp? Yeah. The first thing that I told you guys is we were very undisciplined. Um, I gotta tell you something, um, to see you guys this camp, it's amazing, it really is. You guys have raised the bar, not once, but like trifold. Everyone at the camp is blown away by what they see happening. The level of focus and concentration rivals a championship weekend. By the end of the final run through, the Renegades have gone beyond anywhere they'd ever been before. This was a turning point. Anything is possible. It's June and empty stadiums across the country will soon be filled with the sounds of drum corps. And after months of preparation, it's finally time for the Renegades' first show, the Moonlight Classic. Unfortunately, there's not much moonlight to be seen as the Renegades are slated to go on first. Still, the Renegade faithful begin to fill the stands. Meanwhile, outside the stadium, the corps waits to unleash their show. To say they're excited about getting onto the field would be an understatement. A lot of history here, but there's a lot of history around with everybody else here too, which is really exciting. I know some people that I was talking to earlier who, like, were here in 1974 when uh, the Moonlight Classic started, so, and they're really excited. So that's kind of uh, definitely fun to watch. For show, it's time to lay one down, see some scores, and uh, we all know that it'll probably be the lowest score in Renegades history, but that's DCI, but uh, we'll hype on it, and uh, just hope that when I get home tonight, my son isn't gloating because they beat us. Drum majors, is your core ready? Ladies and gentlemen, Drum Corps International is proud to present the Renegades.
The show goes as expected, a good foundation with a few shaky areas. But they'll take it. It's a great start for the new season. I remember going home from the show last year all kinds of depressed, just thinking we suck. But it, I'm going to go home very happy tonight. Yeah! I mean, it's August, right? I mean, that's how good you guys are coming out of the shoot. we got a lot of work to do, but boy, you know, night and day. Night very, and day. very, very happy with the first performance of the season. Yeah, obviously, there was that spot, and there was that spot. Yeah. But, I mean, I look out there, and I see all that guard work, all those beautiful yeah. flowers. Yeah. I see rifles way up in the air. I hear double C's and people going nuts. I hear applause for the snare line. I mean, we have a lot of applause for our snare features in the past. The next day, the drumline huddles up to listen to the judges' tape of the show. So far, no surprises, and they're in good shape. But they know that there's still a lot of work left to do. On the cover of this morning, June 20th, Stockton newspaper, The Renegades. Did they put the winner of the show, the Blue Devils? No. Did they put second place, Santa Clara Vanguard, who many thought should have won? No. They put Roland Garceau, soloist <laughs> for the Renegades. Front page, Stockton. I was up top. Right? Check it out. Tonight is Pacific Procession, one of the oldest and most respected drum corps shows in California. So it's back to the practice field to work out the kinks in the show. Tonight we'll have one of the largest audiences they'll see in California, so coming out strong is the name of this game. Since the beginning of the season, the Renegades have been wanting to take their show on the road. And after heading out on red-eye flights to Chicago, 
the core finds themselves deep in the cornfields of DeKalb, Illinois. And just like being on tour in junior corps, the Renegades settle into DeKalb High School. They're here for the Drum Corps Midwest Championships, and it's the first time the Renegades have ever traveled to the Midwest, and everyone is jazzed to be there. Ah, uh, the Midwest during the summer. It was definitely goodbye blue skies, as along with the Renegades, a drenching rainstorm descended on to Cal, forcing all of the rehearsals indoors. It had been a long trip, so getting a chance to play before having to do drill, well, that was a good thing. It feels muggy. Uh, the rain was uh, certainly, we haven't had any rain in California in a while, so it was kind of nice. It uh, didn't stop us from rehearsing or getting some things done, so we're happy about that. And we're, uh, we're playing pretty well for having a couple weeks to layoff, so I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm ready to go. It wasn't long before the Corps made their now familiar trip to the practice field. As they sloshed through a soggy field, the Corps was looking good. And though the effects of jet lag were there, the fact that they were really on tour put everyone in a good mood. For uh, leaving late at night, getting in early in the morning, uh, great attitude. Uh, we're, uh, we're having a great time. Very tired, long plane ride, very cramped, uh, bugs, rain. Um, Lots of work on the drill, uh, a lot of chaos. Well, now we're going to kick ass. Yeah. Rehearsal started a little slow today and a little bit distracted, and things started to come together. That run through, we're back. Okay, so we, yeah, good job on the run through. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Chris is going to go over the details, but. Tonight is our opportunity to let everybody know what we're about, yeah. all right? To get all the cores and the fans warmed up, the show organizers held a special concert at a band shell near the show stadium. Now the thing about a band shell is, is it makes any performer inside of it louder. Perhaps that's what was explaining the many evil smiles that were seen on the Renegade's horn line. The day of the championship show arrives and the Renegades get a shot at the show site before their performance. It's a big stadium and there are some tricky echoes for the horns and drums to contend with. But for the staff, it's a great opportunity to get a big picture view of the core. The show is looking good and the Renegades run through performance is one of the best they've ever had. It was about the best performance I've ever seen the core do. I think they're really, really ready for tonight. The whole afternoon of rehearsal time in the stadium was just amazing. They're focused, they're disciplined, and they want to do good. So we'll see what happens tonight. For a core member, there's nothing like being on tour. And for the members that chose to stay in the school gym rather than a hotel, it was a trip down memory lane. It had been a long time since they slept on a gym floor, not since their junior core days. I never thought I'd sleep on a gym floor again. It's been 15 years. So I walked in and I set up my sleeping bag and it was just all came rushing back. I just never thought I'd be able to do be a part of that again. You know, and it's just it's so much like it was when we were kids. Sleeping, you know, all the sleeping bags, all the, the nighttime noises, the the sound of the fans, the, the the feel of the floor. It's just great. There's a lot of memories that have come back because of this. And seeing all the other junior cores here and sharing the school with like five other cores. It's meeting new people. I mean, it's, it's just like junior core was. A lot of fun. Glad, glad Renegades had the opportunity to come out to Chicago this year. It's a lot of fun. As the sun goes down and the DCM show gets started, the competition really starts to heat up. The Renegades aren't the only senior core here tonight, and local favorites, the Minnesota Brass, have a lot on the line as they come to defend their title.
Then it's Renegade's time, at last getting a chance to perform under the lights. The chorus shows a packed crowd entertainment, California style. How about a big Midwest welcome to our friends from San Francisco, California. they head back to the field for retreat. And while there's a good feeling about the evening's performance, uneasiness is setting in. The drumline is the concern. For whatever reason, things didn't quite click on the field and timing problems were heard. The question is, will it affect the outcome of the show? In third place, with a score of 56.15, 56.15, the Kilties. In second place, with a score of 74.65. 74.65. The Renegades. And our Drum Corps Midwest Senior Division Champion, with a score of... 75.40, Minnesota Brass Incorporated. It was a good show. It was nice having everybody come out here. Uh, the Renegades, uh, all the exhibition corps, the, having the alumni corps here, the Marine Corps. Yeah, it was, a, it was an awesome weekend. It was outstanding. To uh, have the opportunity to March number one in the stadium in front of a crowd like this, and then to uh, have a conclusion like this where you're amongst all these different courts, stupendous. Show tonight, we had an awesome time. The Minnesota Brass had a great show, they were very clean, and it were very close score wise. And we'll see what happens at DCA. Should be a lot of fun. Should be a lot of fun. Show was all right, the poor. It was okay, just didn't work. We had a blast. Everyone I've talked to from our core had a blast, and everyone we talked to from other cores, they glad we're out here and they welcome us with open arms, which is nice. So it's all good, as they say. It's all good. After the show, placements don't matter much. It's time to party. And all the cores get together and knock back a few beers and let loose. It shows what the activity is all about having fun and hanging out with friends. One thing though, when you get a bunch of senior corps members together, you can be sure that the party won't be ending anytime soon. And the hotel and Illinois' finest weren't too happy about that. News flash at 11. Renegades come to the Midwest and get arrested. <laughs> Unfazed, the party moves on until finally broken up by the authorities. I have to find my husband. <laughs> I haven't really gotten arrested yet, but I know it's coming. 
It's a night of mayhem and chaos, which to any renegade means mission accomplished. After DeKalb, the drumline came to a realization that it was time for a change. There was talent, experience, and a desire to do well, yet for the line, they hadn't shown what they felt they were really capable of, at least not during a performance when it really mattered. With DCA coming up soon, time was running out for them. And then it finally hit them, all they really needed to do was relax and focus on the task at hand. It was time to let go of all the hype, it was time to trust themselves and each other. The rest would take care of itself. Every time we get together and play, we are improving. So let's just take that to the field. I like the calm uh, attitude. Everybody's kind of happy to be here. So that's going to make for a good performance. So let's just keep that. And it's time to have a good performance. Thank it's you. time. Hey. We're going to have yeah. a good show tonight. I mean, we're right where we want to be right here, guys. It's a matter of taking what we have here and putting exactly what we have here out there on the field. Okay. That's, that's where we've been kind of been our bump in the road. Okay. So this is our chance to do it tonight. You know, I thought about this earlier today. We don't have to amp anything up because our show is ridiculous. <laughs> and as is. as in DeKalb, we can go out there and step on ourselves, and the show is still ridiculous. <laughs> so all we have to do is go do our job. Beetle Think about the job that you have to do. What's the roughest thing for you in the show? What direction change do you always screw up on? Where do you always tick? What do you miss in the show? And just think, I got this. I got this, I got this. We got this under control. I have this under control, the line has this under control, the renegades have this under control. We are under complete control. Take a nice big deep breath as a drum line. Let it go. Open up, shake the guy's hand next to you, let's go play a show. Let's do this, let's do this. That let's is. Do this. All right, we're together. Let's do it, man. The vibe after the show was upbeat and positive, especially for the drumline. DeKalb was behind them now, and they were ready for their next destination, DCA. It felt better than Chicago. A lot better than Chicago. We had a great rehearsal today. The drumline was very solid. We got a lot of good work done. Um, to be honest, I think retention with the drumline was better than I've seen it. Um, everything we worked on, they picked up right away and locked in. It was, very, it was a great week. I think last weekend couldn't have gone better for us. We responded great. Although there are lots of veterans, uh, like the baseline is four out of five vets, snare line's a bunch of veterans, tenor line is pretty much brand new. The vibe within the drum line is definitely a brand new drum line. It feels like a new drum line. It doesn't feel like a bunch of vets for you know, whatever reason. The reason really isn't important. What's important is that we all go, look, we've all done this. We've all got buku experience at drum corps. We're here because drum corps is our passion. We love to do it or we wouldn't be here. Let's do this right. The Northeast is full of small scenic towns and lush summer landscapes, and no place fits this description better than Kingston in rural upstate New York. Now this is a town steeped in tradition, just like the East Coast Senior Corps scene. And one of these traditions is Kingston's March of Champions, a perennial favorite for Senior Corps fans. It's so beautiful. I mean, how they can march and play at the same time so beautifully is, is wonderful. It's showbiz, really, now, especially now. It's become more, uh, more of a show. With DCA only weeks away, 
This is perhaps the most important show of the year, as it will be the only time the top contenders will all be at the same show before the championships. Up to now, the scores have been close, with many contenders ready to take the win at DCA. Well, it's probably one of the most competitive seasons that we've had in a few years. Uh, there's literally five tenths to six tenths separating four or five cores, and it, there's a race up and down the whole uh, spectrum of DCA this year. Seven, eight cores can win the championship. It's, it's really unbelievable the quality that has arisen over the last few years, and it's culminated this year, and by far and away the best group of cores we've ever had. The first top-ranked core is the Empire Statesmen from Rochester, New York. They're in great form and set the tone for what will turn out to be a very competitive night. Besides having the home field advantage, the East Coast Corps have more shows to hone their skills than the Renegades. Come September, they'll be well prepared for both the judges and their competition. And this year, it's clear that the Renegades, as good as they might be, will have the stiffest competition they've ever seen waiting for them. Back in California, the Renegades have found their own way of making up for the lack of shows with their annual Family Day performance. Performing for their friends and families, this dress rehearsal is their last chance to lock down the show before they head to Scranton and the DCA Championships. So in theory, today should be as good a Renegade drum corps as we'll see this year. So that's what today's kind of all about, is just putting a capstone on our California run, giving the, you know, the hometown crowd a, a great performance and you know, dress rehearsal. 
for uh, DCA. It's obvious we have a world-class drum corps and you guys have worked very hard and, and I mean it's gonna be phenomenal. The secret is we need to take that on the field when it's time to, to execute. All right, it's going to be exciting and all that. We're going to have one shot today, and it's DCA prelims as far as we're concerned. Okay? Bring it. But bring our game, the execution game. Oh, this weekend's great. I don't know what happened, but for some reason everything gelled. And this is weekend. Next weekend's going to be just freaking awesome. What we do here today, uh, this is what we're taking with us. We're not going to get much cleaner, you know? I think everyone's real. They realize that, and uh, we cleaned up this week. You know, people know that. We go on the road and we become a little tighter family. So, what you see here, we'll probably kick it up one or two notches, but, you know, not much more. It'll be some, some energy. Uh, I think you're going to get a pretty good look at what we got today, though. The closer the core gets to the championships, the farther away they get from the notion of beating last year's Renegades. The competitive fires are burning now and good enough isn't anymore. They believe that this could be the year. So here we are, we're getting ready to go to DCA. Um, I'll tell you, the performance was good. There was definitely some nervous energy on the field. We saw some errors we haven't seen before out there. All right, the name of the game, like we said, the crowd, when you guys come out, there could be moments of Beatlemania, right? You guys get on the turf, you just gotta focus like we do in rehearsal. That was an excellent, excellent family day or, or whatever we call this performance, but we need to take it up a notch. That's not gonna be it for prelims. It's not gonna be good enough. All right, but we're getting there. We'll be there. We'll be there. <coughs> My reaction was exactly the same. We got about three days of work to do. Yeah. I mean, we got, we got the, well, the work we need to do is the work we need to do. It was individual breakdowns with excellent recoveries. What else could you ask for? <laughs> yeah. And I have to tell you that last year at this show, Carol and I sat in the stands and went, oh my God, there's no way they could go to nationals looking like that. And you got so good in four days that you ended up in third place in color guard. Okay, so this year, we're looking at each other going. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So you guys ought to be doing that too. It was outstanding, outstanding. <laughs> incredible work that you guys have done the whole year. It's early September as the Renegades arrive at their familiar practice site in Hanover, Pennsylvania for the DCA National Championships. This is the time the Corps has been thinking about since the open house. Everything they've done up to now has been in preparation for these next few days. Well, here we are, lovely Scranton, Pennsylvania. Um, we flew in this morning or last night. Corps got in about six. Um, kind, of a, kind of a rough one, you know, traveling overnight. Corps got to the hotel. 
a lot of standing around waiting for rooms but you know we we got ourselves settled in and we got ourselves here to the field so the plan is today basically is to try to get rid of the cobwebs so the vibe is good um, we're, we're all really looking forward to the weekend I, I am especially to see how how they're going to progress whenever we get to this high school on this field we always do really well um, the past two years when we've been here have, we've seen substantial improvement um, the week, that, the, the four or five days that we've been here. And uh, I don't think this year is going to be any different because we're so, so far ahead of where those other two cores were. So I'm really looking forward to it. You know, it feels like 10 minutes ago we got off the airplane and all of a sudden we're out here halfway through run throughs and working the show again. And it feels like we haven't even missed a beat, but yet here we are. We're at finals. It's, it's time to go. And I think we're, we're actually ready for it. So. I'm excited. But yeah, it's going to be over in three days and that'll be the last time we do the show. You know, we got to we got to turn it on and, and bring it and um, show the people here in Scranton what we have. Make it work. Saturday arrives early and the Corps is back on the field making their last minute tune-ups before the prelim performance later in the evening. For the Renegades, prelims is the most important show of the year. It will be the first time that the East Coast DCA judges will get to see their show. They only have one chance to make a favorable impression on them before the championships the following night. We are here almost in Scranton, Pennsylvania, close enough. It is the day of prelim semifinals DCA championships. Drumline is rocking right now. We had a great rehearsal this morning. We had a better rehearsal yesterday morning, and that's time to put it all together. We got about two hours left of this day before we get to chill out a little bit, and go to the championships tonight. And right now um, we're on fire, so hopefully that fire will keep burning and um, DCA championships. Here we come. Knowing that this is our next class rehearsal, and we have prelims tonight, finals tomorrow night. It's, it's it feels like I'm finishing a big marathon, you know. And uh, it's, it's just been an endurance race all the way to the end, and, and I think we're just going to do really well. We're gelling right now really well, so I think it's going to be a really good show. We just uh, kind of keep the energy up and just crank it up just a little bit. It's going to be beautiful. Haven't heard the staff this positive in a long time. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> very true. Yeah. Prelims is important to the core because the DCA drum corps community has not seen this core since last year. We're cleaner, we have a more cohesive show, we have a more exciting show, and they don't know that yet. We have to take the show to the audience, to the judges, to the DCA community, and show them that we're here to play, we're here to play with the big boys. At the warm-up site, the core is feeling good. They've done everything they could do. Go. Had a great rehearsal Anybody today. Uh, we spent the entire morning on the field marching, working on the block Everybody rotations, the both of the, uh, the one at the beginning of the show and the one at the end of the show. A little bit more time on the one at the end. And really started to get some clarity and consistency. And in the afternoon did a little bit of an ensemble and then had a, you know, a phenomenal run through. It was warm out, the core was tired, but they really put out a great run through, set us up perfectly for tonight. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Exciting. A little chaos as usual. Uh, I left my coat back at the hotels. Almost got all the way here and had to turn around and go back and get it. <laughs> so here we are. A um, little nervous energy, but it's all good. Um, getting ready. It's going to be great. Getting ready for prelims. Had a great day of rehearsal. Had a great run through. And there's a lot of electricity in this floor. You can see the look in everyone's eyes. Can you see the look in my eyes? In my eye. See that look? They all have it too. We're gonna have a good show tonight. Now the only thing left is to get on the field and perform. Entering the field, the air is electric with excitement. The fans have been waiting for this moment too and greet the Renegades with open arms. This is it. Everything they've worked for boils down to this moment.
God damn, that was fun. <laughs> guys, oh my god. Did you have as much fun as the crowd did? Yes. Oh, man. What you have right now is why we all work so hard. That kind of show, that was so much fun for you and the audience. I mean, that is why we work so hard. And you know what's great? Is we have a better one in us. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, it was so much different than last year. Yeah. There was it was more there was more calmness with it and yet excitement and energy all at the same time. I think that was an excellent performance. That's the best run we've had uh, this year. And I'll take it tonight, tomorrow, next year, whenever. I'm very proud of that court. It was intense. Very, very intense. Yep, but it was the, good. the crowd reaction just I think helped take the core up to a whole different level. Amazing. Stunned. Great performance, tons of fun. Crowd went crazy, awesome. The end of the show was the best I've ever seen it. As the block was expanding outward, we had a lot of corrections. It seemed a little bit tentative, but then it locked in at the end and rotated very nicely. It's the best I've ever seen it, so I'm very pleased. Good to be back. Good to be back, and man, it's a good crowd. <laughs> I had an idea of what it was going to be like. I saw the crowd and I was thinking, well, this is similar to like maybe EOP, you know, Moonlight like Classic, but at, when I hit, we hit that first applause break and they just erupted, I, I can't describe how I felt. And then when we did the final and we did our block and we moved it in and, and we finished Navarus, when I yelled seven, I felt my face quivering, you know? It was, there was so much emotion. I was, A lot of work here is worth it. Yeah, that's what I thought. See these eyes? See that crowd? Yeah, they were up on their feet a lot, a lot tonight. It was really cool. We fed off of them. We gave it back. Oh my god, it was great. It was so much fun. Such a fun show. I don't care where we place. It doesn't matter. We had our show tonight. The scores are tabulated and the Renegades get theirs. A 93.913. And despite being a favorite of the audience, this will only be good enough for sixth place. As the Corps gathers for their annual member patch ceremony, the talk is of last evening's performance and their placement. Corps directors Chris Knowles and Lee Renicki provide some perspective. I, like, have been very consistent about anybody who asked me any competitive question at all. Every one, every one of you, every person from outside this Corps who asked me, how do you think you're going to do? All I could say is, I think we're going to do a great show. Yep. We did a great show. Yeah. And like I told you when we came off the field yesterday, that is why I do drum corps, is for that. The part after where they give us numbers and they tell one corps that they're better than another, that's my least favorite part of drum corps. I think that you guys did very well. I think that there's a lot of numbers analysis that can be done, will be done, was being done. Just realize why we all do this. We all do this because well, I mean, re realistically, we did get more standing ovations in our show than all the court that followed us. <laughs> our mission coming into this year, as you all know, which has been every year since 99, was to surpass the year before. We've done that. Every section, color guard, horn line, drum line, the marching. I mean, you guys should be very, very proud of yourself. Mission accomplished, as far as I'm concerned. Um, competitively, I'll tell you, I watched... A, Whatever happens, we could come in 10th tonight. I believe we could win tonight. We could be anywhere in between, right? We can't control that. We want to we want to pick it up a notch from last night. But I just got to tell you, look at your competitors. There was nobody that I saw that we could not beat, in my opinion. So, but who knows what's going to happen? We can control. We can control. Our mission is accomplished, but we have one more show to kick it up tonight. We will. Amen. So those of you who are new, uh, this is the patch ceremony. Um, kind of an interesting history, because in a year, two years maybe, the glaze of history is going to make this into some great grand tradition. But the reality is, it was raining really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Staff looked at each other and we go, okay, we can't practice. What are we going to do? Let's give out member patch. Um, but it means a lot to us that you all sacrificed what you have sacrificed to be in our core. One of our number one draft picks this year, yeah. Earl. Yeah. <laughs>
and a special mention to Woo! Frost. Yeah. Yeah. instructor that's standing up here uh, out a little bit. Uh, I don't know, you guys probably all know this, but our music this year was created, written, <laughs> developed, arranged, deranged, and all <laughs> otherwise put together by Mr. Ed Last night, it was incredible to see uh, what you guys, I mean, we wrote notes on a page, but you guys, you guys brought it to life. You made it the Renegades, you brought it to life, and um, you made it your own. And that was apparent on the field last night. You guys brought this heart and just plopped it in front of everybody. And uh, within the first 15 seconds of the show, I think you got the reaction. It was the first standing ovation. It was absolutely unbelievable. And um, the only bummer for me was in the staff viewing area. Uh, we couldn't see anything. They never been standing up. <laughs> but, uh, guys, I just want to tell you what, what an honor it is to work with all of you and this incredible staff. Thank you. For the core, it's back to the practice field, and there's a calm resolve on the faces of the drum line. They've come a long way, and tonight will put them to their final test. The guard keeps getting better and better, and tonight is the night they've been waiting for. You wouldn't know it, though, as their warm-up seems somewhat, well, relaxed. Meanwhile, the horns tune up and put the finishing touches on the show. They're so close to greatness, so it's time for Drum Corps Hall of Fame great and resident renegade guru Frank Doherty to share a final bit of wisdom. So Michelle stopped me this morning on my way here, and he said, Excuse me, can I talk to you about the renegades? And I thought he was going to talk to me about percussion. And he didn't. He said, he said, I want to talk to you about brass. I said, okay. He said, you know, that could be the best brass section in the world. I said, Michelle, I'm picking up on the word could be. <laughs> he, says, he said, yes. He said, maybe it was where I was sitting last night. He said, but you know, there were times when I never heard anything that good. But I knew the other shoe was going to fall, right? I said, what were the other times? He said, the other times were just occasionally, you know the French expression, un peu, un, un peu, un peu. A little tiny bit of the quality went away. He said, you know, you pour that back in this morning, that's the best horn line on earth. I didn't make this up. He said that. He had no reason, he doesn't even know me. He had no reason to say that, but he pulled my collar and said, I want to talk to you about the Renegades horn line. I'll tell you what, I'm 10 feet tall because of that. That's the impression you have. So what's the deal? The deal is, when the people stand up, when the place is going crazy, when they're setting fire to the stands, throwing babies on the field, you stay within yourself. You don't go, oh man, and you start losing your composure. No, that's when you say, relax, breathe, center of the tone, it's all about tone. It's all about sonority. But this man knows. He's a, he's a god, he's a drum corps god, and he looked down from up in the clouds and he said, this could be it. Could be. Could be is the operative phrase. So, you know, you got a lot of information coming at you, but the main thing is we could turn you loose right now, you know what to do. So have a good day, stay within yourselves, Stay relaxed, breathe, and you know what? Could be. End of speech 93. There are no more speeches, no more run-throughs, and no second chances. It's been a long journey for the Corps and they've finally arrived. It's not up to the judges or the crowd or the staff anymore. It's up to the renegades. From San Francisco, California, please welcome the San Francisco Renegades. 
Well, see, considering I haven't been to finals in 15 years, it was very exciting. It was, uh, I don't know, going on the field was like going on any other field through the course of the year. But um, when we turned around and it was time to start the show, you know, it's the last performance and it was perfect. Everything locked in, all the, all the shapes on the field were there and the music was there and the crowd liked it. And yeah, it was great. What if you don't win? We already won. We already won. Everybody feels great about the performance and yeah, that's all we need. It's perfect. Wow, overall, we just took a level, another step up, another level to the next, uh, the next zone, you know, where we go from there. Who knows, you know, just like last year, we took another step and maybe we'll make, next year we'll make this year look like last year. I don't know. The most profound emotion that I had watching the core tonight compete at DCA Finals was not really whether they did good or bad. For me tonight, I got really sad by the end of the show because it's the last time that I'm going to get to see this year's performance, 2004. This was a really special core. It was a really special show. What if you don't win tonight? Who cares if we win tonight? We had a great show. Crowd loves us. Everybody came off the field smiling. There's nothing better than that. With the show done, it's back to the field for retreat. And for the core, all that's left is just to enjoy the moment. We're here at finals retreat. We're having a blast. Everybody's having a great time. I just, just enjoy, enjoy the show. <laughs> more fun than you really should have at a drum court show. That's why we're in the Renegades. Well, it's time to start breaking out the beers, don't you think? Are you thirsty? <laughs> After the scores are announced, there's a feeling of disappointment in the score and the placement. Still, the Renegades put it into perspective as they've done what they've came to do, perform. Uh, you know, it was all worth it. It really was. Um, and, and again, in the, this is like I was talking about earlier. In the end, who really gives a crap where we place? You know, we, we're taking. I mean, we're taking this away from us. So. This is the feeling that everybody's taking away, and, and the placement doesn't affect that one bit. Uh, it was a phenomenal season, and I can't wait to get back at it again next year. You know what? Just had a discussion about that, and someone said maybe they don't like Renegade style, maybe they don't like the fact that we come out here and have fun, but you know what? That's what we're here for. We're out here to have fun, do the show that we want to do. Whether they give us credit for it or not, the hell with them. I had a good time, and that's what it's all about. But we had a beautiful year and a beautiful show tonight, and I wouldn't trade it for anything, any, any championship. So it's all good. So the season's over. We're going to go play at State Farm, play loud, um, get a crowd of people out there to enjoy the show, and then party our asses off. What do you think about the, the placements and all that? What the, tell me about it. That's beyond my control, man. Um, I thought we did a good show. So we're... Are you, are you happy with the, with the year? I'm extremely happy with the year. I think I don't think it was necessarily the, the right result for this competition, but that's okay. We had lots of fun. Great drum corps. As the show winds down, all that's left is a single renegade soaking in a last moment under the lights. But there's still one last performance from the Renegades tonight. For the fans of the Renegades, you can never get enough loud. So in what has become an annual event, the Renegades host a special concert to celebrate their motto of loud is good. This is a great group of people. I am so privileged to be standing up on here 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a great core, what a great family. No sooner do they get started than the local police come to shut them down. And while some folks like loud music, apparently the locals don't. But after the events of the last two days, the renegades will not be denied this time. This is their moment and nothing will stop them. And like drum corps refugees, the corps and the fans head back towards the stadium for their festival of decimals. It was in a way, the perfect ending to the season. A chance to remind the world that the renegades are not a group that will go silently into the night. When they go, you'll hear it. Here, judges don't matter. This is a victory concert where the renegades have done everything they've set out to do. They have redefined what a show can be. And when the scores are a distant memory, those that saw this core will remember this day, the day they saw the triumph of evil.